Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? We are back again with another episode of We Got That Smoke with none other than Minister Louis Farrakhan. Sit back, get your mind right, and E-N-J-O-Y. And now, I say to the American Indians who are honored to have with us tonight, This country, as you know, was once dead. But I humbly say to my Native American brothers and sisters, there is a law. If you have something, you must cultivate it. You must develop it. If you don't cultivate it or develop it, by default, you will lose it. When you have been given life by God, you are not to come in and go out just like you are. You have something within that you must cultivate. If you don't cultivate your gift, you lose it. If you don't use what you have, you lose it. White folks came here and took the land. Just took it. Pushed our Indian brothers off in a reservation, made treaty after treaty with them, and broke every last one of them. Look now. Now, the whites have taken the land, and they, by default, they have approved the land. One didn't fully cultivate it, and the other abused it. Now it's time that it revert back into the hands of its original owner. Now look. Look. The Chicanos, where are my Chicano brothers and sisters? Chicanos owned a very large part of it because the Indians and the Chicano are really family. That's family there. And now, what has happened is the Chicanos have been pushed out of the Southwest. And they're now down into what you call Mexico. But when you talk about Mexico, you're talking about California. You're talking about a lot of these states here. Texas, Arizona. See, all of this, you see, y'all took white folks. Your parents took and it bothers me when I fly into Arizona and New Mexico, I see all these Indian names, you know, as reminders of what you did to them. And then you mock the Indian. You don't respect their religion, you silly Christian. talking about the followers of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about these people who, in the name of religion, become imperialists, only they do it under religion. Religious imperialism. You come to the Native Americans and you come to the Chicanos as though they have nothing of value. You must civilize the heathen. While these people have something that you yourself could learn from if you only were humble enough to sit among them as we have done and learn some of their ways. Farrakhan now sits among the Indians. I learn from them and I impart to them because while you busy calling me every name in the book, I'm working on my mission. 
And my mission is to unite the tribes that are lost. And so today, Christians are together with Muslims. And Muslims of every persuasion are breaking down those barriers, coming back together again. Now the Chicanos and the Indians, they are coming together. And the tribes are hooking up. Next year, the government of America has declared and already taken the Navajo Reservation, belonging to the Navajo and the Hopi in Northern Arizona. The last area in America where there's oil, gold, coal, uranium, they just took it. See, I'm saying this, Press, I want you to hear me. When the young generation of whites stand back and allow the government to take the last bit of land from the American Indian, how then can you in this generation say you are any better than your father who took the whole country from them? Listen. What to read? You can start here. If America wants to save herself, leave the Indians. Alone. Look here. If America want to save herself, leave the blacks alone. If America wants to save herself, help South African blacks to get their liberation. Make a decision because we cannot leave. 
live like this any longer. We would rather be dead than to live as niggas, as poor junkies, as nothings in this world. And if we are willing to die, we are not willing to die alone. Oh, America, as your enemies mount against you on the outside, you cannot stand revolution on the inside. Oh, America. It is the time of sacrifice. Yes, we will spend our money with our own, and we will spend our lives for our own. We will not go to Nicaragua. We will not go to Africa to fight to keep both of us in power. We will not go to the Middle East to fight to keep Israel there. We will not go to Europe Unless America herself is attacked, you will not use black bodies anymore to die to keep rich white people oppressing black people. Your day is over. And so, beloved, the American Indian must become productive. There in Navajo Reservation, I would appeal to the government and say to Mr. Reagan, the Indians are willing to develop their own resources, to sell them. That's those resources to the American people and government on an equitable basis. There are Indians in the South, West, that have millions of dollars. There are Indians in the Northeast that have millions of dollars. The Indians that have the money should be put together with the Indians that have the resources. And then with the technology of Indians and the technology of Blacks and the technology of Chicano, we mine out of the reservation the oil, the coal, yes. the gas, yes. with respect for the land yes. in a scientific way that is not full of greed, that will destroy the mother of earth that has nurtured our lives. We will sell it to America. You'll be a trading partner with the Indians, not a robber of the Indians. You be a respecter of the Indian, not a butcher of the Indian. Through power, we can do this. We propose a black power skills bank that all these black technical people who are hidden away in corporate America should be signed up in the power skills bank to offer one to three years of their talent to Africa, the Caribbean, and America to develop the economies of the Caribbean, Africa, and black people in America. We are one family. If we help to develop gold in Africa, we're not just going to pay the technician, but a percentage of that should be given to black America. We can develop Africa. We can develop the Caribbean. We can develop Mexico. We can develop Central America. We can develop where the Indians are and with unity. That kind of economic power leads to political power. And with political power, 40 million blacks in America can be as wise and manipulative 
as the Jews are today. We weep 
we weep for Jews, but who weeps for us? In my conclusion, in my conclusion, don't jump and run, in my conclusion, the scene is set for the crucifixion again. I sat in Phoenix the other day listening to what was coming out of Los Angeles and tears rolled out of my eyes because I could see the whole history of Jesus repeated again. And you, my Christian brothers and sisters, and you, Mr. Mayor, and you, Danny, and you, Reverend Reed, and all of you sing the song, Were You There? When they crucified my Lord. Back up, I want to look at people. Were you there? Were you there? Gaddafi loaned me $5 million. 
a loan that I have to pay back. No strings attached. You want to paint me as a revolutionary that wants to be a terrorist in America. You are already terrorized. I have not thrown a Molotov cocktail, but it's the fire of the truth that manifests your wickedness and your hypocrisy that you fear coming out of my mouth. So the die is set. And let me tell you what is written. It is written that all of you leaders would join with the enemy against a modern Jesus in your midst. And you are joining with the enemy now. But let me remind you that the magicians of Pharaoh couldn't stand up against Moses and Aaron. And the Baal prophets of Israel couldn't stand up against Elijah. Okay. And if you are dumb enough to take the side of the enemies of truth against me, I, by the power of Almighty God, shall defeat you all in the name of Allah. He is sufficient for me. His power you shall come to know. You will not get away with any betrayal of me. I'm your last chance. Tell the Jew. Shout it from the mountain top. I am a mercy from Almighty God to you. I am to warn you of your transgression and give you a way out. But if you try to harm me, then you bring upon yourself and your generation the swift destruction of Almighty God Allah. You may take it or leave it alone. Black man, you got power at last and forever. Black woman, you got power at last and forever. Come on, my Indian brother and sister. Come on and let's unite. Thanks for viewing you all and on your way out, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell and the word all to ensure that you will get notifications when I upload videos on Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. Also press those condiments, the like and the share. Share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come to contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation. Peace out and never give up on your D-R-E-A-M-S.